Oh, excuse me. I don't like the dwarf <laughs> Welcome to what? Wolf Welcome to Wolf Yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Come back, don't it's not called makeup, it's war paint. Welcome to episode nine of the War Paint series. And today it's all about lockdown, working from home, trying to keep going as we do with War Paint. Uh, even though in these really tough times, we're trying to soldier on as a brand and keep bringing out products um, and everything like that. So today is a quick peek into how we're trying to do just that. So here we are in my garden, something that I'm really proud of. I, it was literally like a junkyard in here when we bought the house. So, did it majority of it myself, very proud of it. Look at the foliage. All of these plants were tiny when I put them in. Even put this little box hedge in myself. And then here is my little home office. So this is where the magic now happens. In my little office, in my little home office, which is extremely cute. I put everything up myself. Shelf, bookshelf, which is a little bit wonky, and also my bit of skirting. Look at that. <laughs> so, yeah, DIY, not my school set. I think, like everyone, we've been impacted by coronavirus. So, some of our componentry we do shipping from abroad, uh, all the makeup is produced in the UK. However, the componentry was delayed due to coronavirus. Uh, we literally managed to get it over. Uh, some components for bronzer and anti-shine. On Friday, um, Friday afternoon, the compacts were like, would you believe it, Friday morning, our manufacturing plant in the UK actually shut down due to government ruling. So we missed it by about a few hours. So it's absolutely gutting. However, if you do go on the website, we still have loads of stock of most stuff, but it has been a real challenge. And I think this is what everyone's facing nowadays um, because of coronavirus. I think us as a brand are going to have to adapt, which we have done, as you can see, working from home, but pretty much forward facing for all of our customers, like you guys out there, it's business as normal really for us. So you can still go on the website, you can still order, delivery time still seems to be good. So that's the small positives. This is the home office. Oh, hello. <laughs> Who's that? I got Do you work here? <laughs> You're doing some development on the website. Yeah. <laughs> Another really good thing for us is that our US warehouse has been open now for about uh, nearly six weeks and US uh, forward facing website as well. And that's performing really, really well. So we're getting a lot of traction in the US, which is absolutely amazing. I got a bonus The one bonus with coronavirus is that you can get some cheap labour when the kids are at home. Working at home uh, is a massive change for us, but I think it's been a really good one, if I'm honest. It just shows you what you can do working at home and that uh, potentially is this the future for businesses? I don't know. We have been using, I think like everyone has Zoom video conferencing, which has been an absolute godsend, uh, as doing our team meetings, having chats, and it's been absolutely amazing. I just think it shows you how you can actually work from home and just get on with it. But rather than me showing you or telling you about how the team are getting on, why don't you have a quick look? Hi, my name is Matt Lum, I'm CEO at Warpaint. Hi, I'm Anya, I'm a creative developer at Warpaint. Hey, I'm Claudia, I'm the office administrator for Warpaint. I'm Ali Collins, head of e-commerce at Warpaint for Men. Hi, I'm Ashley Fairfield, a content producer here at Warpaint. And I am currently working on this episode right now. I mean, it's true, now get back to work. Oh. I am currently working from home like the rest of the team. So this is our, my home setup. Current setup, got two companions. This is my current uh, working from home office setup. I tidied it up a little bit for the video. And lots of fruit. This is my current working from home setup at the moment. Got my laptop living room table and we share this room between four of us that's me my wife my 19th month old baby and my dog yeah. <laughs> wow. 
Harry, can, can mommy have it back now, please? Someone's happy everybody's working from home. I try and walk for about an hour, at least uh, once a day. Uh, so I'm not exercising as much as I thought I would. I think I've worked out like a couple of times in the last seven or eight days. Our chill out space has now become a home gym. Uh, trying to master the art of walking past the fridge without gaining half a pound every single time I walk through the kitchen. So we need to get some more shots for a new set on the website. So I've set up my home studio. This is like a side table. In my spare time, I've been watching Netflix shows mainly. Doing the usual, really, better Netflix. We've got to get through this. Cooking our own food, glass of wine, something the other. Day 724, working from home. It's boring. Uh, and this is what life is like for me, um, currently in isolation. Ah! Can, when it's Rudy's really time, can I, when it's, when it's my turn, can, can we do the thing what we've done <laughs> just now? Hey, look, well, yeah? look, the camera's there, look. Yeah. So this is the one thing oh, about yes. working from home. Hello, you do hello, get. hello, 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 <laughs> Come back, don't touch I want to give a massive shout out to the NHS workers, unbelievable what they're doing in a minute. And I think as a business and a founder and a, uh, an owner, I think I sit and struggle and think, oh my God, like, what are we going to do? And you know, we've been lucky, it's been not too impactful on us, but you've just got to say hats off to these people in the NHS and what they're doing. And they're really on the front line of things, puts everything in perspective for what I'm doing. So just want to say a massive shout out to the workers at NHS. So guys, look, that's it for today's episode. Uh, I hope you found it interesting to see what's going on with wall paint during lockdown. Uh, but look guys, it's a really tough time at the minute and this is gonna affect everyone. But what I would say is try and stay positive. Don't, I know it's really easy for me to say, but I think when you overthink things or think about too much in the future of stuff you can't control, it's gonna drive you mad. So get up, get ready. Definitely a time to probably try makeup if you haven't tried it before. Uh, while you've got time at home, why not? I still got up every day. Uh, I get dressed, do my hair, and I do do my morning routine, including my makeup. So give it a go. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we will be getting another episode out next week. So here I am at home, working from home with this little monster, this is Rudy, <laughs> who's seven and a half months, and this is my garden. Uh, and then just behind, this is my little, there's my other son, he's a little bit upset. <laughs> and here's the office. <laughs> oh my God. And then occasionally, <clears throat> if, I'm, uh, if I'm not working in here, oh, what's this? Matt Lum. What's this? London South East Director of the Year? Bloody hell. Anyway. And then Oh Roman, stop, 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 stop. Hi, my name's Matt Lum. I'm Chief Exec. Uh see you at the start again. <laughs> my current home oh, self-isolating with my brother Dan. Uh Currently, uh, who won't be filmed because he looks like a tramp. <laughs> and when I'm not working from home, I'm now mildly obsessed with these little things you can get from Marks and Spencer. I don't know if you've seen them. The little garden seedling kits. There you go. This is my own little contribution. Peace and quiet, although my brother's actually as loud on the phone as Danny Gray. I never thought I'd be able to say that about anybody. And I do love a plant.